Hey, so I wanted to show uh, kind of, so we did the kind of the wire underneath. I wanted to show how I tape them up. It's kind of in a particular order. Um, so on a, on a flying bird, it's going to be all the same stuff as this strap one, except uh, you can see from big old fat redhead there. Um, primaries first, I'll do this, and then I'll also show um, kind of what I do with the carding on um, on a normal flying uh, where the wings are a little bit more outstretched. Since this is kind of, you know, you're showing this side um, and it's kind of at a sharp angle or it's a little bit more compact, it's a little bit better just to run a few strips, um, you know, kind of from the, from the front all the way to the back just to kind of compress it a little bit. So anyway, I tear off some. I use the 3M masking. Pretty good. Doesn't leave, you know, don't have to worry about residue. I put it on my shirt a few times, kind of, you know, press it on, pull it off, press it on, pull it off. So I'll start with the primaries. I want a little bit of wire. It's just all in focus here. So then I'll just kind of, like I said, it's a, uh, a strap one, so it's not going to be too spread out. Um, and then what I want to do is just kind of cut a little bit of excess and then that way around this wire I can just kind of roll it and then now that first couple of primaries is stuck to that so so then I'll just kind of go through um, obviously get everything evenly spaced kind of lift up I'm just wanting to deal with the primaries here so I'll kind of get that where everything is laying good. So then what you'll see on some mounts that is not remedied is, you know, feathers depending on just how the wiring is set, just how, uh, you know, the pose, whatever, it'll have a little bit of ripple. You can kind of see it here where if it's pulled out, if it's not pulled out tight, you'll see some that have, you know, it's just, it kind of gets wrinkled and then they're they're kind of laying on top of each other so what I like to do um, especially on stuff where it's really open and kind of splayed out is just put a little pre-cut thing of cardboard stretch that out and then just kind of fold that over and then now the primaries are gonna stay nice and straight so then so primaries are set make sure this is all pressed up again so you want to get you want to get these nice and kind of out at least on the back end um, so it's kind of going up so so from here like I said if it was on a flying bird I would just kind of go through individually from from the outer end of the secondaries and then I would just kind of tape up but on here since it's more compact I can just kind of apply a little bit of pressure and get them get them all in order like I said it's just a basic uh, I just wanted to show kind of because I always tell a lot of people you know I go through and do each individual feather and um, a lot of it is this is the areas I see where you can kind of tell the quality of a mount kind of based on you know how how well everything is is in order um, so for the, from here I just want to make sure this is nice and kind of compress just a little bit kind of wrap that around good to go last step I get a regular piece Make sure it's nice and dull, cut it in half. And these are the greater coverts. So what I want to do is, even though I'm not really messing with these, so all I'm going to do here is kind of the same thing. I want to kind of get them out from underneath the secondaries. That way it's they're not uh, getting kind of in a bind. So I want to get these free. Alright, and then I'll apply a little bit of pressure and kind of work each one underneath the one in front of it. That way, 
and this is another big one too you know redhead it's not going to be like a, a big deal because it doesn't really form a, a line or a pattern but you know green wings pintails mallards i mean really so i just want to get everything nice nice and straight everything's perfectly in line and then that row of feathers especially run some tape along that so then that's going to stay nice okay so then from there cool the wings done but like i said if it was um a flying bird or a general flying i would always do the primaries first exact same thing as i try to i want them to be stretched and straight and flat just to give you know when they're flying it's straight crisp you know as an arrow and then from here you know i would go through and do the secondary so all i really have to do now on this is run a few strips kind of like this i'll do three of them and start off at the base kind of press here at the flight web lay that down one here and then one around the elbow area because that's going to kind of poof out a little bit um, just naturally so on a regular flying bird i have i buy this from hobby lobby it comes in a big sheet i don't even know what it's called but it's like corrugated plastic and um it's great because it allows air to circulate through and man it just it makes a really nice difference so on this cereal boxes i've mentioned this before it's a good cardboard it's it holds its shape but it's not thick like cardboard where it, it gets creases and so i'll just run this kind of straight under the flight web on say a generally flying bird same thing goes over here and then once they're all set i use uh the big hair clips to hold them in place and then as I'm doing that I'm kind of just making sure that no feathers are kind of like bunched up so you can kind of I'll do it with this one is clear so as you can do this you can kind of just make sure with the tweezers that everything's pressed down underneath it and then once you clamp it then your wings good to go so once you take these once you take these off then the wing is nice and flat and compressed and so not only is it gonna make everything smooth but then it's also going to uh, make everything, uh, you know, straight and flat, you know, just look like an actual wing. So this is the same concept I do for all the wings. So I just wanted to show that real quick, um, not get too long of a video, but um, and that's basically it. Just the primaries evenly spaced. Um, do a little bit of excess on the either end. You'll probably you normally you have to do like a fresh piece of tape because you know there is some tension on it and if it's the ones you put against your shirt or your pants or whatever it you know it can pop loose the cardboard will fall but and then if you need to if it's still kind of sometimes um and i have a lot of these clips and uh you can get them from walmart in the beauty section so you kind of have to bite the bullet on that but i'll just go through with the wires underneath and uh sometimes just to make sure that it's following the the wire that's on the underside I'll just put a little clip and then now that way uh, I can kind of ensure that and kind of see it I can kind of ensure that the wire make sure these feathers are pressed make sure the wire is pressed up against the bottom of the wing and like I said so then from there you know you have a nice looking wing I'll run the three pieces like I said it's pretty basic um, just from here to here little strips so the air the wing can still breathe as it dries and um, and on a f regular flying bird, you don't want to do that because especially if the underwing is showing, then the feathers on the bottom, the underside are going to be laying down, or um, they're not going to be you know tightly compressed or, f or flat against the wing, and it just it doesn't look good. Um, on these, you can't really clip as much. I kind of press them in, you know, just to make sure that they're not drooping down. You can't really do this as much because the wing is kind of so. If if the wing was completely open then the carding goes along the whole underside of the wing um, it just makes a big difference so then from here I'll just kinda go through like I said there's a few areas here I can see uh, you know where the feathers are on the opposite side because it should be going uh, this feather is under this feather under this feather under under and these are going over so I wanna just kinda lift up uh, lift up some individuals place it on top of on top of the next one on top of the next one on top of the next one and then get everything good there and then any areas where it's kind of off to the side and especially on puddle ducks man it makes a big difference because 
they uh, they have so many patterns and they have so many different deals that if you can get the greater coverts real nice and lined up it should make almost a perfect line and if you see a mount and it's not making a nice perfect line then that should kind of tell you something there so anyway I just want to show kind of a taping of the wing um, basics there and the carding process if needed and uh, and like I said between planning the flight web and doing that that's making a huge just one of the number number one things that I see um, just as far as you know stuff I see uh, from other places so and that'll give you a nice smooth anatomically looking nice correct wing um, lay all the feathers down make beautiful patterns and lines and that makes such a big difference so anyway that is taping the wing